Are you forgetting to tape it so that it... No, I'm taping it. Make sure it records. Hey guys, welcome! Hola! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Hi guys! How are you guys? There we go! Peace is nice joined. You're right. Peace is nice. Peace is nice. Ah, <sighs> what a... Hi, Shell. What a time that we are living, right? I have a lot of anxiety today. So I'm going to put it out there. Not as an excuse, but just in case I don't make sense. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of anxiety today. I don't know why. Um... Hi, all the people who are joining. So before we start, thank you for your concerns um, you talk about my parents. My parents are fine. And uh, as you have probably read, uh, Italy has a um, national um, quarantine. So they can't, you know, lock down. They can't get out of the cities and et cetera, et cetera. Um, my parents are fine um, and they are staying at home. Uh, what else? I have a very old grandmother who doesn't go out anyway, so, but we are all safe. So thank you for your concerns. And, um, and no, we're not going to Italy. And no, we're not going to Italy. We're going to go for the summer. Hopefully, I would have believed that by summer, uh, we're going to have fought this. Did I put the verbs right? You we will, we, by, by summer, summer we, we will, will have, have beaten fought. This. Fought, beaten. beaten. Okay. But, you know. But the, Fingers the, crossed, but the, don't jinx okay. it. Anyway, so, um, oh, now, before we get to the food part, because I'm very excited about this recipe, is that it's not actually from the north, I, I, I think it's very Sicilian, uh, but it's very Italian. Um, I want to start, I told Ben, I want to start with an ode to humanity. <laughs> so, and then I'll also give you the theme of the day. Um, Yesterday I was so tired and so fried. It was a very difficult day. Catherine was extremely difficult and you know, sleep deprived and it was just a difficult day. And she had a difficult day too, apparently, because she made mine hell. So um, I took her to Whole Foods to get some produce because we didn't go to the farmer's market. All the streets were closed. I guess we were the only ones in town not knowing that there was the LA Marathon. And so, so we go to the store and I was so tired, so fried that I forgot the basket, my grocery basket with all my tote uh, on the curb by my car, I believe. I probably had taken it out of the trunk, got Catherine, and then walked into the store. So by the time I buy all the stuff, I pay, and I, I knew that the basket was in the trunk. So I told the guy, I don't need bags. I'm just gonna put everything, you know, I'm gonna just bag everything when I get to the car. I get to the car, and there's no basket so i put all my groceries on the in the car just like that uh, come home and you know the day and blah blah i didn't know where this basket was so ben i actually got mad at ben i said i'm sure that you put it in your car you're so fried that you don't know where you put it you're you're being a mess and uh, because he is uh you know but apparently yesterday i was the mess so i forgot the, the basket on by the curb and the coolest mess you will ever And make. inside the, the basket, I had this bottle of hand sanitizer, the last one that I could find last week at the store. And my first thought was, you know, Ben calls All Foods, All Foods has my basket. And the first thing I thought was, oh my God, you know, they're going to have stolen this because, you know. It's not Whole Foods, but. Not Whole Foods, whoever, in whoever parking, returned the basket, the maybe, lot. you know. And so Ben goes back to Whole Foods, great Whole Foods in Glendale, by the way. Uh, and uh, they had my basket and they had the hand sanitizer. So even though this is probably the most requested item in, in you know, lately, nobody stole it. And so honestly, I have to take back what I thought about humanity. There's still some good people in the world who I do not- I told you. Yes, so that kind of, huh, I said, okay, there's still people, if, if you all know that song, The Insider, about uh, you're the dark angel, this occasionally is my darling wife. <laughs> Always look on the dark Okay, side. so that said, let's take a deep breath 
And then, oh, the theme before I start with food. Tell me, what is the craziest thing that you guys did when you were tired? And what happens to you when you're overtired, sleep deprived? I know that we have moms here and parents of young kids. And we also have uh, grandparents. We have, you know, you. So, oops, the light went off for some reason. We also uh, have people right. living in the world so, these um, days. Yeah, tell me what happens when um, the, the switch is here, but probably, I don't know. So what happens to you when you're overtired? Tell me, I'm very curious. Um, it, it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, totally fine. So I wanna know, and Ben is gonna read your answers and now we're gonna beautiful. start cooking. So um, yeah, what, what happens to you? What's the craziest thing that you did when you were tired? And um, what happens to you? And what do you do to finally realize, okay, I'm tired, I need to pause. Now, let's get started with this beautiful recipe. Ingredients. Either fresh tomatoes, um, cherry tomatoes would be great, or make tomato sauce. I made some tomato sauce because I needed it and uh, I bought this Italian brand, again, is not sponsored, but let me tell you how much it has changed the tomato sauce. I bought uh, little cherry tomatoes in a can and a little Samarzano. They're this big in a can from the brand Cirio, which is one of my favorite Italian brands. They're so good that this sauce is probably one of the best I've ever made and it only cooked for three hours. It didn't have the law and I, it's just a beautiful tomato sauce. So we're gonna use this as a base for our pasta. Then we're going to, um, so it's gonna be tomato sauce, uh, some olive, like I chose these Mediterranean olives. Uh, I like them because they're a mix and they are, they're not over sweet. They have this half tart and half sweet that I love. So if you can find Mediterranean, otherwise some um, green olives, I would say. We have capers and I, uh, we have chili flakes. Well, this is not jam, it's chili flakes. And we have fennel seed. Alternatively, 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 alternatively. you can use uh, oregano. That's either, 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 or, no, or, or. So this is the first big recipe, this beautiful pasta. And then while the pasta cooks, we're gonna put together a little cute, super cute thing that kids will love and hopefully Catherine will love. It's all my love. Okay, go with the question. People's, people's answers about what's the craziest thing they did when, when uh -huh. they were tired. Okay, uh, Patricia Puskett says, I get hangry, but then we get into um, Stacy YT3 says, I forget my mind. PGT oh. Barnes says, I cry when I'm overtired. Rebecca Callahan falls asleep. Huh. This sounds like me. Petty Leslie loses her vocabulary completely. Flitta Collins can't form words. Sounds like me. Uh, Mary Drew also cries when overtired. And possibly the winner, Tracy Nickel sleepwalked in the hotel room and screamed at the maid and felt so bad when the roommate said it. You wow. Know, this is me when I used to drink. Trice Kilroy, Patrice Kilroy says, ha, too tired to remember. Two different colors of shoes to work. Okay. Um, like laid it? down for a quick nap and woke up 12 hours later, fell asleep standing up while at baggage claim waiting up for luggage. <laughs> you know, I got into the wrong car once, same car, same make as mine, five spaces away, and I had people with me. Wow. Guys, you make me feel better about myself. <laughs> this is great. Falling asleep, singing to their kids, trying to put them to sleep. Um, forgetting where their car was parked, which I'm is again. I'm gonna chop some olives now. Ah, when you make a long cooking tomato sauce, do you have to use the stove top or can you put it in a crock pot? I never use a crock pot. I put it in the stove, on the stove, very, very low heat, stirring occasionally, actually quite frequently. I never use a crock pot. So I'm basically, the, I'm, uh, the, um, how do you say, the, the pit, uh, I'm pitting the olives. But as you can see, they don't need to be whole because I'm going to chop them finely for our pasta. I'm going to add them. So here in the skillet, I have um, just put some extra virgin olive oil and my, tom my tomato sauce. Just that it doesn't have to be super tomato-y. Actually, I probably put even a little too much. But because I want 
the olives and the capers to be the star of the dish. So I would say that I've used, um, what is it, a quarter of a cup of olives, kind of? Uh, I know, am no good really, at that. Uh, I would say, I'll tell you exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I would say like fifteen olives, medium. You see this size, um, and then um, the capers. But I want these ingredients to really give the aroma to our sauce because it's not just the tomato sauce. Yes. Do you have anything? Yeah. Um, I wondered if you had told them that with these tomatoes you didn't have to cook it as long as. You yeah, that's the thing. The tomatoes were so good that. I didn't have to cook the sauce as long. Um, and they were not even that expensive, by the way. I ordered them from this Italian website, Bellitalia. That's where I order all my Italian stuff. Um, basic stuff, that the fette biscottate that I love for breakfast, my uh, Santaralli, we love Taralli here. So it's not over expensive, actually. I don't, I don't remember, I'm, I think that, you know, not more expensive than, than other uh, tomatoes. I believe they were $2 or can so you know i'm sure that there's something that is cheaper but equal quality i i think that is not a bad price for canned tomatoes nope for you know kathy glesson ash says that she lost her three-year-old son at a boat race oh my god a biker That's club oh. a biker club called sons of silence found him and kept him safe oh till she arrived in 10 minutes oh Oh my God. That that's, is that's really, really the scariest, scariest, wow. scariest. You know, I will never forget this. Um, one day we were by the beach in Santa Monica with uh, Charlie and Hattie Webb, the Webb sisters. Yeah. And with Charlie's daughter. Um, I, was, I was pregnant, I believe. Yeah, because it was during the tour, the last tour. There was a break and we were all in Santa Monica. And there was this father who had lost his son. He just turned around. He was on one of those, not a skateboard, one of those, how are they called? Scooters? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and so he was on the scooter. He was five, I believe. I don't remember the day, but it was that age. And he just turned around and the son disappeared. And the terror that I saw in this man's voice and eyes, like, because he was, didn't know what to do, was uh, terrifying. So... Yeah, I, that's something that I haven't done yet. I, so I'm going to chop the olives finely, and then I'm going to add them to the to my done, sauce. I've done everything else here, drunk or sober. Yeah, but Except walk out of a hotel room in Bermuda with only a t-shirt and the door locked behind me. I didn't do that. Anyway, yeah, it's a rough time. And I think that it's rough time for Catherine, too, because, you know, when they, when they behave that way, it's because they're having a rough time, too, but... Um, I'm, I'm really tired these days. Well, I Catherine am. Catherine picks up on the vibe. Huh? Picks, she picks, picks up, up on, on the vibe, but you know, she stress. didn't sleep and... I don't know, I'm very tired these days. And I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety. Um, thank you for the conversation that we're having on, our, on, on my page. Because it's uh, really helpful. I've been uh, experiencing a lot of... Um, a lot of... Um, I don't find the word. When you're kind of disappointed, no, it's not disappointment, it's kind of probably disappointment and kind of disappointment, uh, in, disappointment what? in how things are going for me. And I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm not where I'm, where I should be. I feel every time that, you know, you reach out to, to people, you know, work related and you open yourself up. Uh, and I'm sure that it's it's uh, it's the same when you send resumes, you know. But uh, when you open yourself up and you don't get considered, it feels very um, it makes you feel very naked, very um, very vulnerable, and uh, actually humiliating. So I think that all these feelings have been just uh, coming up. So I know that uh, the percentage yesterday, though, I posted a photo on the Instagram stories, and I saw that the majority of you guys actually was. Uh, was having a good day, which makes me really happy. I think that only 20% or 29% was having a rough day. So I'm, I'm glad about that. Cookie says, we're here watching you and we love you. I know. I I'm here uh, watching you and I love you. People capers. relate, sweetheart. People totally relate. Yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with that. I, I believe that it doesn't have anything to do with the field of uh, what, what you do. I think that it's a... Uh, it can be very relatable and it doesn't have to do with, you know, 
show business or art. It can be really applied to any, whenever we feel um, not either heard or given a chance and we put our, you know, it's, it feels, whenever you open up in general, uh, whether it's personally or professionally, it makes you feel very vulnerable, you know, and... Um, so in Inner Groove 84 said, mm -hmm. went through the same thing this past week, I know exactly how you feel. I'm sorry, but thank you. I mean, it's always... Uh, um, also, when people tell you, I know how you feel, I've been there, or like, I experienced the same, You, it's kind of... You feel like you're sorry for because and somebody else experienced it, but you're also happy because you're not the only one experienced it, you know? Um, go ahead, babe. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, um, I'm just telling you people relate on that and on the anxiety side because of the coronavirus. Yeah, I think that because subtly... Because from Italy. You know, I think that subtly, I mean, not that subtly, but even if it doesn't affect us personally, the, the virus and the elections and... It's a lot, you know, that's, you, you breathe it in the air, you know, it's, uh, whether it's on the radio or when you go to the grocery store, there's this overall lingering sense of doom or, or anger or, um, it's, uh, and you kind of absorb it, you know, you, you, uh, you, pick, you pick up on it just like Catherine picks up on my behavior, you know, um, I would say that I use a tablespoon, I would actually use one or two tablespoons of capers. Um, ideally, the, the Italian recipe calls for capers in salt. They have a very different flavor from the capers in, um, in vinegar. These are in vinegar, I believe, yeah. And so if you, I, I can't find them. I could never find them um, here. They are, there are, the popular one are from Sardinia. And, oops, what? Sharp girl, sharp girl said, that her therapist said it's Trump. <laughs> We try to try to keep a neutral show here, but you know, um, the thing is that one thing that I always try to remember. So yeah, I would say two tablespoons of of capers, and then again, it's um it's very personal. So if you like capers, just load it up. Uh, one thing that I always try to remember, and it's not easy, and it, I'm not good at it always, but that whatever the cause is, whether it's uh, you know, Trump, an agent, your boss someone that you open up to, wh whoever, um, that trigger the feeling, ultimately, the only thing that I can control, it's me, you know? And so, it's not this cliche, but it's true. So it's really, how do you deal with it? And lately, I haven't really dealt with it very gracefully. Um, huh? I said it, I said the truth, I told the truth. Not very gracefully, I didn't say gracefully. Uh, now, what can you do here? You can also add some anchovies. I don't know if I want to. I want to taste it first. And then I don't have anchovies. I have anchovies oil. Juice, actually. It's weird. Um, so, sorry. Uh, let me saute this. And then in a bit, we're going to uh, boil the pasta. The water was boiling. Meanwhile, uh, I'm making spaghetti. Because I realized that I always make short pasta and i think that this really calls for a nice long beautiful pasta now the beautiful thing about this recipe is that sorry i put a little too much oil is that you can add so you can start with this base we said 15 olives i end up putting 13 i left two in here and two tablespoons of capers once it cooks you can taste it and if it's if you want less tomato and more, more capers, you can add more capers. And it ends up being a bigger portion, freeze it. Freezer. I'm going to add some fennel seed. I have a technical question. Yeah. I'm reading these to you because you're cooking. Afterwards, can you read the comments? Why? So that you will know what everybody said because I'm yeah, telling you the high points. I always do read the comments because I've been very good at recording this show on the record screen option so I can actually go through every comment. Hi Peppy, uh, welcome. Uh, I didn't ask the question today. Uh, who's new? Do we have newcomers? Yeah, let's talk about cooking and not politics and not because, not because, I mean, you guys know what my my point of view is, it's just because sometimes it's nice to have a space that it's uh, yep. another, something that has nothing to do with, with politics. Something or we with, can you know, all agree on. Just one hour of 
just one hour of chat and fun, you know, not because someone doesn't have to express their own ideas, uh, just because it's time, just like, I like to turn the radio off sometimes because I need music instead of news. Let's cook, you know? Did you see your So Bad's question? No. What are you doing differently tonight that you learned from your seminar? Oh, right. Okay, so I, first of all, I had never tried sun chokes. They are amazing. Now, I don't like artichokes. Uh, it's something that comes from when I was little. Uh, I don't like artichokes. And also, they're a lot of work. Sun chokes are artichokes without the hard work. And what we did with this chef, we, I chopped them very big, actually, quite like potatoes. And I put them in the oven, roasted them in the oven with whole shallots. I actually cut the shallots in a half. Um, a mix of herbs, rosemary, thyme, parsley, roasted for 25 minutes. They were delicious. They are amazing. So that I didn't know. I also learned why you don't want to wash the mushrooms. Make a, I always wash the mushrooms. And it's because mushrooms have already a lot of water, right? So you don't want to wash them they have even more water on the surface. So when you, when you, when you cook them, they release even more water. So um, that's a big thing that I learned. And also I just had a confirmation of how cool it was to cook with six women. Amazing and really cool women. One of them was my, uh, my dearest friend, Cynthia and uh, Deborah. And so I knew them, the others I met there and what a, when women get together and just have fun. It's so beautiful. I want you to read these later because you're getting so much support and people are really appreciative because they find this hour is a, is a respite and an escape. Thank you, guys. Uh, happy lobster. No, don't, you know, I think that if I, if they're probably fried, I would probably eat them. I actually don't mind them raw. You can eat the, you know, you can do a pincimonio. So you can, basically you have the artichoke heart and you just bite the bottom of the leaf where all the pulp is you ch you know yeah. dip it in so, olive oil and, mm -hmm. and vinegar and then just eat the i like that raw not bad Como so, se dice, uh, ar artichoke, uh, carchofo. Carchofo. Okay. now um i don't know how sun chop though i need to look it up so this is heating up and the beautiful thing about this sauce is that um with the heat both the fennel seed and the capers and the, they all release their essence in the tomato sauce so it completely changes a tomato sauce. And of course you can buy, a, you know, if you can't make it, uh, you can buy just a basic tomato sauce or cherry tomatoes, to cut them in quarters or in a half and just stir fry them with some olive oil for like 10 minutes. Lou wants to know what capers taste like. What capers taste like? Huh. They're, they're great. That's they're they're almost question. like really salty, tiny, and tiny tangy. concentrated olives with some tang. But and they're some very salt. tangy and yeah. very salty. Not salt so much it's as tangy. The, but it's almost as if they came from the ocean. Does it make sense? A bit, but they don't taste they don't fishy. Fish they just all. taste, they have a tang and a sparkle and a shine, but they feel very, for some reason, Mediterranean. I don't know if that's Because their they grow in Sardinia. They are beautiful. And actually, they have beautiful flowers. Capers are. Uh, so, well, I'm going to salt my, wa my water. Now, I don't know how to guide people through the salting process. Um, I, I know, like, just like, because I used to see my mother and grandmother do it. I take a little handful of salt and put it in the boiling water. Uh, it's important to salt it. I'm just getting the pasta, in, guys. Um, here is my pasta. Time to toss it. This is gonna cook in 10 minutes uh, for a nice al dente. Uh, this pasta is the Checo. Any pasta. I would recommend a long pasta. Now I wanna try this sauce. Ooh, perfect. So, ooh. So let's say I use what, half a cup of sauce, right? For a half a cup of sauce, I'm gonna turn it off now. The heat is just going to keep cooking it. A uh, half cup of sauce and uh, two tablespoons of capers, 13 big olives, big medium olives, and uh, just a sprinkle of fennel seed if you want it. 
not necessary. You can, uh, I wouldn't put the, both oregano and fennel seed because I think that you want to, um, you want to taste one of the two. So I'm, even, I'm wondering, do you guys think that this is enough for like a three people pasta, babe? Three people? No, huh, no? a little bit more. Huh. Now I don't have to have a lot of sauce on my pasta. I, I mean, I like the taste of spaghetti. You can try it, but I think you need a little bit more. But I don't need a lot on mine. I made three portions because I thought Catherine hopefully is going to eat it or, you know, it's for tomorrow. Well, now I don't, I, so to give you the quantities, this is probably for two slash three. Two, two for sure. Let's see if it makes three. Um, it, it'll, it'll make three. It'll make it, three, if, yeah. It'll make three if it's not like slathered in sauce. Uh, go ask Kali where she's. 10 feet, Ten feet tall. tall. That's uh, Alice in Wonderland and oh, the right, lyric right, 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 yeah. by the Jefferson Airplane. Thanks, man. Looks yummy. So glad Mike is still okay. Have a good night. Oh, we have plumbing issue. Oh, Anna has to go. Oh, bye, Anna. Thank you for popping by. And you're so bad. Salt and thank you for always being uh, active in our community, always commenting. It's always nice to talk to you. But you're so bad salted the pasta water tonight. Wow. Yeah, I know. So I'll tell you, if you would realize that you didn't salt it enough, uh, you can always add some salt, even right before the cooking, even right before, like, you know, I always taste the pasta after five slash six minutes. And if I know, which is never ready, but if I notice that, <coughs> sorry, if I notice that it's not salted enough, you can always add a little bit more and it's going to still salt the, the pasta. Um, after that, is uh, it's kind of you I mean the pasta won't be salted what else do you serve with the pasta and sauce whoa today Pizza? I think that's it for us you mean or on, uh, during a meal uh, I think that tonight that's pretty much it you could have a salad uh, of some sort a salad maybe but we aren't tonight There's no I oh now, now it makes me wonder is that enough for dinner usually when I make okay like if the pasta is um, like rich I make just a bigger portion of pasta and that's the meal that we have. So we eat the pasta at the table, usually listening to KPCC, and then we move to the couch for our dessert. Salad and bread. Bread is always good to, to do scarpetta. Uh, my pasta didn't taste half as good. Uh, my pasta didn't taste half as good as your looks. Uh, it's nice to engage in a cooking and not talk about the news. Thank you for this. Yeah. Uh, I've never been a good cook, but I'm learning with you guys. Well, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy that you're learning. Sorry, one more question about capers. Where do they come from? It is a vegetable. Oh, no, no, no. Why would I laugh? I don't know. So I know the Sardinia, the island of Sardinia is very famous for capers, and they have these giant, beautiful capers that become flowers, or they have flowers. I know they're very big, and they're delicious. You can... I remember I spent several summers in Sardinia and the, that's why they, they put them in salt. They keep them in salt. So Ben, maybe you can Google something. I don't know. They're, they're, they're flower, you know, capers are flower and, um, they're the, the plant. Yeah. I think that they are the plant bud and oops. Do I need to take right now? Now where are, no, she's finishing. Uh, now where are they from where you can find them? I don't know. Okay, it I looks like I signed off, but I'm really just Googling. Mediterranean, um, Mediterranean, I think that the Mediterranean. I'm assuming because of Sardinia, but maybe other places. And Capers. You know, someone told me, no question is stupid, by the way. No one laughs at anyone, you know. Actually, I think that is very uh, brave to ask questions. I don't ask them enough. Ben knows everything, and so sometimes he's talking about things. and I'm making it up. Steve Naive knows everything, obviously. Do you it's ever native add... to the Mediterranean. Okay. I want to tell... Can I tell something, Mary? Uh, no, I don't. I know that it's... A f somebody... I don't know. It's not what Italians do. So, um, at least it's not what I do. I think that what I read is that it doesn't really help. It's supposed to help the pasta not stick together. It doesn't really help that. So, I want to see if the light works now. No. So, uh, yeah, exactly, Lori. There are no stupid questions. Um... 
my mom used to add oil to the water. Yeah, I some yeah, several people do. I'm drinking too much coffee, too much tea. Fascinating. Yeah, go ahead. The, the capers that we get are the salted from the internet, always accurate. The salted and pickled caper bud, usually called a caper, um, common ingredient in Mediterranean cuisine. Ah, the buds, when ready to pick, are dark olive green. They're picked in pickled in salt or a salt and vinegar solution and drained. Mm -hmm. This might have something to do with the salty flavor. Um, hmm, let me see. Uh, let me see. Yes. Wow. Sometimes described, salt, sometimes described as being similar to black pe pepper or mustard, maybe mustard. Maybe. You know that when, when they are, let me tell you, when they are in salt, the flavor really changes. And uh, see, especially, in, they're talking about Sicily. This is a very Sicilian uh, pasta. It's in Sicily, they use, in, in, the, in, the, in the islands, I believe, in Sardinia and Sicily, they really use it a lot in their mm -hmm. sauce. Mm -hmm. It keeps that kick. And I know some people don't like it, though. It's in tartar sauce. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Or, yeah. So you some, love it already because who doesn't love tartar sauce on their tartars? Some people uh, some people don't like it, you know. And they can be really big. I remember those Sardinian ones. They were giant. These are tiny. tiny. Capers are sometimes used in cosmetics. I could use really? some capers. I think I've got a little bit of rosacea today. I'm joining back in the conversation and the fun, darling. Oh. This is not yours. So, I will try, I will do this first, try it, and then when we know that it's good, we're going to move on to the little next, so we can actually start doing it now, the little next thing. Okay, the little next thing is really, is a kind of a funny uh, recipe, it's not really a recipe. Uh, I want to make, I looked it online, not an invention of mine, this. Uh, I just wanted to do something quick and funny that we could do together while we waited for the pasta or if we had some time after. And uh, I, uh, have, I want to make little penguins with, mo I'm gonna, we're going to try and make little penguins with mozzarella, little mozzarella and olives. I saw this online and Catherine loves penguins. So I want to try and make this for her. So let's uh, move this around and uh, I'm here guys. Let's keep track of the pasta. Now we're going to use carrot as a base. So I'm going to use the bigger part of the carrot for the base. So I'm going to cut like rounds, okay? That's my cook street. I love to just eat carrots. What I'm going to do on these carrots, I'll show you now. I'm going to, I never did this guys, and I'm not very precise when it comes to, we cut this little triangle. I'll show you. Okay, so that's what we have. I'll check on the pasta. Suspense. Uh, did you know that cookie is, no, not cookie, but I think Runhart is half Sicilian. Wow. Oh, really? Siciliano, mm. see? That's mm. really cool. Perfectly salted, perfectly al dente. So let me, let me uh, drain the pasta, and then we'll go back to, we'll create the suspense for the pasta, and we'll go back to um, the little penguins. So let me drain this. See, uh, the trick with pasta is always to keep checking because you miss that split second and it's not al dente anymore. Can you come on camera, please? So See, so you just gonna drain say the pasta. Let me say something. She's gonna drain the pasta. A word about salt. If you have high blood pressure, it might be a problem. If right. you don't have high blood pressure, because it's bad for your blood pressure. <sighs> However, if like me, you have very low blood pressure, I don't know, I haven't had any complaints from my doctor yet, and you have to use it in the pasta, in the, in, in the water because it makes the most enormous difference. It brings out the flavor. It doesn't make it taste particularly salty, but we, Alice was irate in a restaurant in Big Bear a few years ago because they didn't salt their pasta at all. We heard it was the best one in town. Okay, I'm back. It was just the most tasteless dishwater. It just had nothing. 
Okay, so I'm spilling, I'm bye spilling bye. the pasta. I'm pouring the pasta in our sauce. I always leave some uh, cooking water from the pasta, whether it's in the, in the, in the pot or in the, uh, uh, if I move just the pasta, I use some um, cooking water from the boiling water. In this case, I didn't drain it all. Now, I don't have tongs. Look at what I'm using. I'm using Catherine tongs. Our friend Cynthia gave this to Catherine, uh, a set of cooking tools, and they actually work. So, they're a little. What kind of salt? Huh? What kind of salt? What kind of salt? Yeah. What do you mean? What kind of salt? Oh, of course. To, to, um, to salt the water, use coarse salt. So, let me give you a hint. Let me give you a hint. Now, how much water did they put in here, Ben? In much? that pot. I, I feel like three quarters of that pot. Yeah, so I, I have no it? idea. Okay. I have no idea. However... Okay. Um, For, okay, so I filled three quarters of this pot. Can you show it to them? The pot with my head for scale, because you don't know how big my head is, and it isn't very big, it's pretty small. So this is the pot this that I use, okay? What is this? How many gallons? <coughs> oh, it says... It says 5.5 five 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 quarts. Yeah, five and a half, half quarts. Five and a half quarts, 5.2 liters, and you use... I use... Um, Probably four and a half. I use five quarts. three quarters of that, and I use two handful of coarse salt. This was for 270 grams of pasta, okay? Because it also depends, not, not pink, just regular coarse salt. Ben is, is, gonna it, show is, it, right is it kosher? Is it right there? No, this is not. And by the way, this sauce is perfect for three people. Of course, rough makes a good shaker. I should try this on Keltner and Ferroni. They really like this. Wow. So, we have our pasta here. I can't wait to try it. Uh, look at this beauty. We're gonna try after the penguins, okay? So this sauce, the quantity was perfect. Sure, you can use coke. For three people. You can add some more, but I think it's beautiful. It's not a tomato pasta. It's not a, to it's not a tomato sauce. It's, Kind of a, I think it's called, I think the technique is a ragu. Because ragu can be, I, I learned it's everything that, right? Never knew that about salt. Can't wait to try. You're very welcome. Uh, that's good salt. I bought your kind. I always say I want to play the shaker in a band. Shaker, you, yeah. Shaker isn't as easy as you think. So let's try to do, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, I have... And, and now and I'm going to ask you a question. What, what's the craziest thing that you have built up with food for your kids? Like, you know, shaping something as a dinosaur or something like that. Like Catherine is crazy for penguins. So when I saw this online, I thought, okay, we have to do it. And I don't know if she will eat, because she doesn't really eat olives or raw carrots or mozzarella. So I got this mozzarella, little ciliegini. Um... I got black, uh, pitted black olives. Now, these olives are really big, and those were the only ones that I could find at the Whole Foods. So this penguin is gonna have big wings. No, big body. Is this a big body? Yeah, it's a big bowl. Okay, what's gonna have big body? I'm, just, I'm reading the comments. Uh, I'm gonna, this is gonna be the, like the, like, you know Whoa, what I mean? wait a minute. But That's, okay. What, is this our appetizer or what? You're putting that, is that burrata? No, it's mozzarella. I'm doing, what? I'm making the penguins. And it's mozzarella, not mozzarella. Oh, where did you get this, this? Because this is the coolest, coolest thing. I know, I found it online. This is From great. this girl called Misia. Our daughter this is gonna woman. lose her so, mind. So, what you do, up. you, you put a, um, you put a toothpick. Toothpick, right? You do you cut it? You cut a notch in the carrot slice. Yeah, I showed that. And now I'm going to. These toothpicks are not the best because they're not the pointy ones. These are the okay. Oops. Oh. The the penguin is going to be. How? Why? Hmm. I think the feet might be a little big. No. Yeah. And I think the the mozzarella. Needs is to that be. A small? Well, you know, I don't. What, you know what we never do here? We never follow the instructions or look. No, at the there's recipe. no instructions. You know what I mean? It's like, wait. Now, what do we use? You as know, a glue? I what think do, that's wait, great. It's what do we use be... as a glue? Ta-da! Cream cheese as glue. Isn't this cool? 
Is there and there's a beak for the penguin head, yeah. right? So I think it's gonna be great. It's gonna be perfect. You just put it over the uh, you put it on the spike, right? Yeah. No, what? The uh, the, the olive. Huh? The olive. You put it on the toothpick, right? No, I, I glue it to the body. With a, I glue, I glue oh, it to the body. Oh, that's perfect. Wow. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm pretty excited by this, and I know nothing about what she's up to. Wait. Oof. It's not easy. So, you know, the reason why I'm not good at these things is because it's not that easy, actually. And it requires a lot of... Um, And now, wait, I'll tell you the truth on something. <laughs> this doesn't stick. Um, Do you want me to get some glue? Hey, how about anchovy paste? I'll tell you one. one or does it only work this on is, anchovies? No, wait, I want to share with them. And this is really how, is a lesson in do not judge. So I go online and I see these penguins from this Italian website. And I think, wow, she could have cleaned the, the edges of that cream cheese. They're all over. You know, she posted a photo. She could have done. And now I know why she didn't. Because, because it's really, in order for them to stick, it's really difficult. And so the cream cheese has to come out. And so next time that I judge without knowing, shame on me. Is that falling? So Somebody said try jam, or the cream cheese has to be warm. Hmm. Teresa, your birthday's 414. Hmm, that's interesting. Hi, Teresa. You survived the, the thing, right? The tornado. Yeah, but wait a second. Can I look? <gasps> now there's something missing, though. Because these olives are giant. What if I put another... Oh, my God. Guys, this is the cutest thing. Catherine, let her eat her stuff first. Isn't this cute? That is unbelievably fantastic. Look at that. Wow. It's, I think it's going to collapse in like three seconds. It's okay. Just set it down. Isn't this cute? I'm going to make more. It'll last long enough to eat. I'm going to put it in a... Um... Isn't this cute? Penguin, penguin, penguin. Let's make another one. Oops. Uh-oh. The beak fell. Everything fell. No. Babe, be no, careful with the no, penguin. No, 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 baby. Be careful with the penguin. Let's, let's find the carrot. Where's the carrot? Where did he fall? Right here. I think that we need to... We're just the disaster. Oh, you know here. what happens? That actually, when uh, the... Um... I'm going to create a hole for the... Oops. <laughs> when, when you put them on a plate... It's like a Dalek. The... Oops, okay. You have to be sure the wings are not too long. No, but they actually, they, if they touch the plate, it's going to help, you know, sustain Don't hold it up. This is hysterical. <laughs> Aren't this cute? Let's make another one. I can't wait for Catherine to see it. I think the good idea could be to just... But then if I put the... A good idea could be to horizontally put the, another toothpick but then <clears throat> but then you would see the thing coming out which is weird hey e carry is here was out to dinner okay let's start with up. another one guys mr okay. shovel wants to know what's on the telly okay. it's huh? time for the penguin to explode <sighs> let's try again don't collapse you dude Welcome, guys. I see that someone joined a little later. Maybe Carrie so, joined a little later. And somebody came back. Somebody that's was nice. Gone. Somebody was gone and is now back. All right. Let me... So I think that the trick is either to have a bigger mozzarella. I bought the ciliegini. They are a, a bigger ovolini, I believe they're called. 
and they're a little bit bigger. But yeah, the truth is that I did not read the, 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 the instructions. So maybe it said dry the mozzarella before or not. Don't know. Sorry. I think it's so cute. What's the purpose it's of... It's cute as heck. Yes, it is. It's also 545. Are you doing good? Yeah. There are penguins in Hawaii, according to Ron Hard. I had no idea. Tropical penguins. I knew there were huh. warm. I knew there were warm weather penguins, but I did not know that. Oh wow! What? Um. Raven Mad Promo made your cookies on Sunday, and they came out great. Yay! You which should ones? taste the which, which ones? ones, and you should taste the ones she made like night before last. Good Lord. Yeah, I, I posted a video about that. With the, Good Lord. Um, peanut butter and jelly cookie on my top five list. It, it was fantastic. It was peanut butter and jelly without peanut butter, but with peanuts. With peanuts. And, whoa, and whoa, I put whoa. a little bit of rosemary. But you guys saw the video probably. Um, so I'm really trying to put together a cookbook. I am. I think it's a good idea. Because I have so many beautiful recipes and, uh, and what a tribute to my grandmother since, you know, um, s some of these... To, you, so to Madri, but um, Madalena is, is in Aviana. Yeah, the thing is that Madri was the one that cooked the most for me that Madre I spent more was, time with, you know? Madri was your mother. Madri was my mom's... Um, uh, Madri was my mom's mom. She passed in 2001, and um, so let me see, what can we do? I think that one thing that you can do to let this stick, use a knife and, uh, and spread the, once, if you spread the, I'll show you now, the cream cheese a little bit more, like with your knife, like I'll show you, because see now, is a little collapsing. So if you manage to, with your with a knife or with something more delicate than your hands, it's going to stick. Alice, do you know about book IG account pasta grannies? No, I don't. I don't, I do not. Okay. Pasta grannies, I heard about that. I'm curious to see if Catherine We'll see that it's a penguin. Baby, this is a, so let me, yeah, it's a little bit, it, it's, a, it's a little bit of work, okay? So, and by the way, it really makes you understand why this woman that I, you know, I looked at the website of, had, um, the, the, the cream cheese was all out, which, as I was saying, what a lesson, don't judge, because you don't know. And my first thing was, Oh, wow, she took pictures for the website. Why doesn't she, you know, clean up the penguin? And that's why, because you need a lot of green cheese that comes out, okay? Unless you glue it, which... Judge, not so, lest he be judged. You know, Who said that? I don't know why it's so easy to judge. And I always think that I'm not a judgy person. I actually sometimes complain and tell Ben that he's a the judgy person, but... Um, I think that, you know, I think that every time that I'm angry or, or resentful or that's when I judge people because I need to, I don't know. Does it happen to you guys? I went to see Graceland, but the house wasn't open then. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. um, I've been to Graceland a few times. I love Graceland. Ta-da, babe. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 These wow, are wow. Cute. That's wonderful. I need to take them away from the heat. Take them away from the heat. Catherine? Catherine, Catherine what do we have for you? Guarda cosa ti ha fatto mamma? Baby. Baby. Sono da mangiare questi baby. Sì. Sì. Da mangiare. Elise. Wow. <laughs> baby. Do you want to try baby? Yeah. She's reaching up high for it. So let's make another one. I'm, I'm Vuoi provarlo? Sì. La me lo chiedi in italiano se lo vuoi provare? Sì, amore mio! Wow! Oh, she's speaking Italian! Brava, amore mio! Certo che puoi provarlo! 
Tieni, te lo metto sul tuo piattino. We have Christmas plates all year long. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to make another baby so that we can take photos. Ta-da! Ciao, baby. You're about to be... Oh. Isn't it cute? Oh, is she going to eat it? Are you going to eat it? Try I'm going to see if Catherine eats eat it. it. È possibile mangiarlo. Vuoi mangiarlo? Vuoi mangiarlo? Oh, she's, she's, Vuoi mangiarlo? She's like, she probably wants to play with it. Take it up to her room. Sì, due baby. Ne vuoi mangiare uno? Sì. Sì. What do you say? Sì. What do you say? <laughs> oh, I mangiato to... Oh, I just... she, she um, grabbed a, a wing. She grabbed a wing? She doesn't like she doesn't you like cream like cheese. She don't like the wing? She doesn't, she doesn't, like, doesn't cream like cream cheese, cheese or she doesn't like olives? She doesn't like cream cheese. Not like picky, the picky, wing. picky. You don't... We are picky. Dieci minuti, tesoro. Thanks for you. What do you want? You want me to pick you up? Um, Here we are. I'm going to eat the, this. You want amore, to eat this one? Amore, ma è lo stesso, amore. Sono fatte con le olive. Yeah, she doesn't like cream cheese, I noticed. I'm she doesn't like cheese. I'm going to eat this. You want to eat this one? No, amore, sono, è lo stesso. Sono, è, è, Can she eat it? Vuoi mangiare una mozzarella? Can she eat it? But she, well, she wants to eat the head? Yeah. She wants to try it. But she, she tried a, an olive and she didn't I like it. I see there. Cosa? Um, olives. 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 Olive. Are they pitted? She's making me Are they so pitted? So she doesn't like olives either. Are they yes, pitted? They are. Okay. She doesn't like olives either. No. No. Um, or for me, I don't head. like the carrots, but. I she got baby. She wants head. baby's head. You want baby's head? Here, here, here. She wants a little bit of mo mozzarella. She basically wants mozzarella. Mozzarella. <coughs> mo, mo, mo. Not mu, mu, mu. Oh, it's, it's mo mozzarella. So you want to try it? Yeah. Um, I take a bite, okay. She's bye, having bye. Ben eat it first. Mm. Oh, Papa! Oh, Papa! Mmm, mm, mm, it's cheese. It's She's really interesting, it. cool cheese. Do you like it? Isn't that cool? Mm. Is bueno? Mm. Is bueno? Mm. You take a bite. You like it? I love when this, she tries something for the first time. Her reaction is... Mm. Is bueno? Um, amore. I see, uh, no, non puoi essere nel video, amore mio. Dobbiamo salutare i nostri amici. Because, Guys, okay. Because oh, it's your right beauty would break the camera. You've got like seven minutes, my true love. So, we have two penguins. Did I see seven and McDonald on here? Oh! I can't find We have I two penguins. Baby, hey. um, if I see you seven, I'm so happy to see you. I love you. Aren't they cute? So, is an idea. Oh, Ben, I'm going to ask our friends. What is the craziest thing that they did for their kids food-wise? If they... And I lost... Oh, I didn't remember him. Inquire. The penguins were good with the pasta. Catherine is so, two years. Catherine was born in December. Um, she's two a years penguin. ago, two years and something. Let me see. I love listening to you speaking Italian. Thank you. Uh, not another baby. Um, let me see. Post no. pictures of the penguin. Mm -hmm. I will, guys. No. She doesn't like the mozzarella. Oh, you don't like the mozzarella. No. You don't like olives. So, you don't like mozzarella. Are you sure that you're in? Italian? I don't know. I'm missing the. Um, I don't know if guys, I missed the, I, I, uh, the question of uh, what did you cook for your kids? Um, is that where winter comes from? I'm a no, no. baby. Can I tell them? Yeah, sure. Winter? Her name's Winter because um, the Webb sisters, both Hattie and Charlie, have an extra middle name, which is not uncommon in the world. And I thought that was great. And I have a book that I love called Winter by Lynn Dayton. It's part of a long series of books. It's kind of a denouement. And um, I saw it on the shelf once, and I just went, wait, she has, her name is Winter. That's her name. And um, if I were Catherine, I would call myself Winter Tinge. But she's Catherine, and we'll see if she But she's also Gabriella, like my mom. Gabriella, Catherine, Gabriella, Winter Tinge. Chiore. It's soft. Yeah, it is later than he thinks. It's only 5.54. Let's try it. Looks cool. Piccola, piccola bimba. Catherine, Catherine, no, 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 you know, there's the old thing where you use a spoon. That's why my papa showed me. In Panama, I learned to use a spoon to twirl the spaghetti. In Panama. Italian trays for America. I got it. 
Look at that. Look at that. Oh, two, two, three. Uh, one, two. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> I love this. It's more than enough. Oh, amazing. It's more than enough sauce. Mmm. It's oh, really good. Oh, Lady in the Tramp. The real one. Isn't this good? Right? Ben. It's fantastic. It's amazing. It's amazing. And, okay, guys. So, Can I have some again. <clears throat> it's dinner. It's dinner. So. It kind of slaps my hand away. No, it's dinner, though, my love. So, so look at this beauty. Or fame. Now. Oh, you're getting answers to what people did. It took us what, and well, it would have taken us for a half an hour. Easy, delicious. This is going to be a bomb at a dinner party. Um, double the, and you get, the quantities are very personal. You can use more or less of whatever. And um, this is a bomb. Summer, beautiful summer dish. Uh, beautiful winter dish. Beautiful dish. So easy to make and so... So characteristic. What I love about food is when you have a bite and it takes you places. And, uh, and I think that authentic food, regardless of where it comes from, takes you places. Uh, it doesn't have to be complicated. Uh, today I had Elise made me Indonesian curry and it was authentic. And it says it was delicious. Um, you can travel with food as long as you use your heart when you make it. And it doesn't have to be gourmet. It doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be... It has to come from the heart. And this is from the heart. I would call it... I don't know. I think it's not the puttanesca. Puttanesca is a, is a sauce. Uh, I would call it Sicilian pasta. I don't know. You can bake some... Um, pine nuts, uh, roast, toast some pine nuts and add them. Uh, you can top this pasta with some toasted breadcrumbs. Very Sicilian too. Guys, um, thank you for caring about my parents. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for honoring, thank you, thank you for honoring Italy every time that we get together because I, I don't want to be one of those uh, immigrants that just bo bo like talks about her home country because there's a reason why I'm here, right? It's I love this country, otherwise I wouldn't have stayed. Um, but so I really love and I love my own country. So I really thank you for honoring the half of me. Um, what's the what's the cookbook name? Please let me know. Oh, I missed it. Someone suggested a cookbook um, name. Food from the heart. Food from the heart. Food from the heart. That's beautiful. Uh, you guys, really, it's I love you. The title uh, have, or the subtitle. Yeah, have a beautiful, have a beautiful, beautiful week. We'll talk on Instagram and uh, don't judge. And I don't know, try to, um, let's do this. Maybe every time that we feel the anxiety or fear, maybe we can just go on Instagram and comment on one of my photos and start a conversation with somebody else or not necessarily on my photo but on comment on start what somebody conversations. else start, start conversations start and, uh, polite conversations maybe we can try and do that almost like before giving in let's try to do something different counteraction and i love the conversation that we're starting on together so buon appetito uh, please if you make the pasta let me know and I know that some of you try to send me photos of their food and it makes me really happy. Uh, if you don't want me to share the photos of your food, let me know and I won't. Uh, but if you do, let me know and I will. Um, I love you guys. Have a beautiful week. We don't want to say goodbye? See. Si. We don't know when to say goodbye with the spaghetti? Yeah, I do want to say goodbye with spaghetti. <laughs> when the moon fills your eye, like a baby. Uh oh. That's okay. That. I'll go Bye, guys. Ciao, love ciao. you, love you, love you. Have a beautiful, ciao, beautiful ciao. week. A presto. Bye.